part of the machine, a big part of it, is the corporate media. And the corporate media has now forged an alliance because, look, if you were just going by inflation, economy, open border, uh, rise of violent crime, uh, collapse of the U.S. airline industry, I mean, across the board, things are worse now than they were when Trump was the president. There's no, you can't argue it. It's insane. However, according to Real Clear and the generic vote, half of the country says, you know, I'd still rather vote for this unbelievable incompetence and dangerous policy than vote for Republicans. Doesn't make any sense. Well, I'd look, we may, I'll be curious to see your reaction to this, but I've, I've talked to a number of my friends who are pretty sophisticated pollsters. Almost all the polls the Real Clear Politics is getting are junk. They oversample Democrats. They oversample people who aren't going to vote. Uh, they're consistently wrong. We, I, I wrote a newsletter recently at Gingrich 360 where I outlined that every, the August of every election year, we go through the same cycle. Uh, they print phony polls. They try to depress us. Uh, people, for example, at Trafalgar, which is very accurate, or Scott Rasmussen. Uh, Rasmussen has us plus five on the generic. Uh, I think Trafalgar basically agrees with that. Uh, in, insider Advantage, uh, Matt Towery basically agrees with that. So what, what part, part of what you're getting here is just pure propaganda. 70% uh, of the country is unhappy with Biden economically. Uh, over 73 out of four Americans believe we're on the wrong track. When you look at the undecided voters, they're overwhelmingly anti-Biden. Uh, they haven't yet decided they're going to vote Republican, but they're overwhelmingly anti-Biden. And you look at their internal views, uh, they're almost certainly going to break through, probably three to one for Republicans.